Let's get some reaction now on that story. And our reporter, Justin Ford, has been following that race in Cape Town and joins us now just off the finish line. Uh, Justin, before we get to who your guest is, a quite remarkable story of Cherise Willett, obviously formerly known as Cherise Stander, who has now won her fourth title and, you know, uh, you know just recovering from such a heartbreak which she's just had in her life. Yeah, good afternoon, Kate. From the finish line, earlier we chatted to you from the start line. Cherise Wale, I've been told, is the correct pronunciation of her surname, having married a Swiss gentleman, Benjamin. Um, yeah, fantastic to speak to her earlier on, you know, just speaking of that emotion, to, to actually come back and make the decision roughly about three and four months ago uh, after having, um, you know, a second child uh, and decided to, to actually get on the bike and, and, and train in earnest to, 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 to come out here to the cycle tour and, and actually go and win it. So very emotional and very happy Charisse Wille. But furthermore, to chat about the actual races, uh, you know, director of the cycle tour, Dave Balez. Dave, thanks for your time first and foremost. Amazing day out here. First of all, we've got to talk about the wind. I mean, <laughs> your week leading up to the actual race today, the wind, how things been uh, out on the course? It's, uh, it, it's a tough day out for cyclists. It, it, it really is. There's no doubt about it. We had five or six days of the most beautiful weather in the lead up to the cycle tour. And of course, Friday, I saw the Cape Doctor coming to visit the good old Southeaster, and she's definitely here in earnest. So it, it is, it's a tough day. We're very pleased we got the event on the road this morning. There were you know, there are lots of rumors around, are they going to cancel again? Uh, but no, the contingency were put in place. We made sure that the infrastructure that was on the route would be able to stand up to the wind. We needed to make sure all our medical uh, facilities were up and running and in place. So we're very pleased that we got everybody off on the road this morning. I do, however, suspect that there were a couple of people that woke up, looked out of their windows and got straight back under their duvets. Dave, 42 years existence of the event, you know, Cape Town has really opened themselves and welcomed the Cape Town Cycle Tour from a road closure point of view um, and the fact that, you know, the big highways and byways and, and popular routes around the city have been closed today. Have you received any sort of feedback, whether it be negative mostly, um, you know, in terms of that? Are people upset that roads have been closed and potentially businesses, specifically through that sort of fish or Musenberg area? I think that's the wonderful thing about the city of Cape Town is, yes, there are always one or two people that are upset, but the vast majority of people around the route actually come out in support of the event on the day. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity, especially for places like Fishhook, Cork Bay, Musenberg, uh, Simonstown. Those pubs, those uh, coffee shops, those restaurants at the side of the road are absolutely brimming with spectators. And it's that spirit that makes the, the, the event what it is. It, it really, you know, you can ride around the Cape Peninsula any day of the week, but having the people out on the side of the road supporting you and getting you through, especially on a tough day like today, means so much. And I think it's that embracing of this event by the Cape Town uh, um, public that is so important. Great stuff. Uh, moving over to the females race, you know, Cherise coming through and winning it. I think an important point must be mentioned, the fact that the ladies for the second time in a row now are able to enjoy their own race. Um, just that decision last year that you guys have made and been able to stick to this year to ensure that they can do their own and their best race. I think it's fantastic. It's absolutely wonderful. Yes, it's a slightly shorter route, but believe me, it wasn't any easier today. Not at all. Uh, and I think we're going to look to improve on that. We'll look to take a little bit longer. It's about making sure they get here with enough of a buffer between the men. But wonderful to see the ladies having their own race, their own tactics, not interfered with by anybody else. And I'm very pleased for Cherise to have Cherise back in, in winning form the way she won today. And she was up against an Olympic gold medal uh, track sprinter. Who could, who, who everybody was thinking was going to take it. So huge kudos to Sharice and the rest of the girls that were racing in that, in that elite division. Dave, thanks very much for your time. Well, there you have it. You know, this is the action we expected to, to continue all the way until five o'clock. Uh, the last set of riders uh, left the start point at 10 past, roughly 20 past 10. Um, and we'll hopefully bring you an update later on in the day.